welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Houston Astros. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country, and a lot of times that's done through sport. But for me, as a black player, when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure, baseball's hard enough just to play, but then everything sort of on the field, off the field, and how he persevered through that's so inspiring. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway. And today's starter, Christian Javier. Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something Leading back a little bit later, Atlanta. maybe second, third right time through the order and run give run them something they haven't here. seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate now. That's ball one. And the righty deals. Close one. Doesn't get the call. And now 2-0. Oh. Well, second pitch of this game and already getting squeezed a little bit. Now 3-0. Oh, oh. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. And that's ball Take four. Take your base, ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Leading off tonight for Atlanta. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Ozzie Albies. Pitch that's misses inside, and it's 1-0. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next oh. offering is downstairs. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. McCormick snags it. That is her. The third base here. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. And a key factor for this club in that leadoff spot, Ronald Acuna Jr. Well, these days we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker. When he's Acuna runs. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Throw the second great jump. I think that still kind of sets the tone, not just for this game, but for the entire series. First inning, game one. So that kind of tells me they're going to be aggressive on offense and try to force the issue whenever they can. Javier checks the runner. Right, Acuna out. dives back in. Man at second. Hit hard on the ground is short. And he's okay. out. Matt Olson up to the plate. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. A gigantic blast. His fourth home run of the season, and the Braves have the lead now. It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boone. Aggressive, and it paid off. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around real quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. 
clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Really strong hitting performance recently. Can make it a five-game hitting streak oh. with a knock in this one. Two runs across in the inning, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And that another missed, ball. ball. Javier, maybe a Good little ball. less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw right, instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Two down, nobody on. That yeah. one's in there. Two and two. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? Well, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Abreu brings it in for the third out. Braves pick up two on the long ball. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And pitching in this game, Charlie Morton. Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win the game. Go. We go to the bottom of the first. Jose Altuve up to hit here. He's hitting for that ball. Came out of the gates really strong. The wind of the pitch. Ball That's one the ball. there. The pitch. Outside yeah. corner, there's a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Riley drifts towards it. And it's caught for the out. That a second. Now we seven. check out the Astros lineup. And no doubt a big factor in this series so far, Jose Altuve. Boogie's really been showing off the pop in this series so far. Two homers. And you know, he'd love to add on with another shot today. I'm interested to see how they approach him. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Right yeah. through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. And a good down. eye there. Oh. That one oh. missed. Two and one. One out, base is empty. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's Look in the down. door. Bounced up the middle. Arcia tosses to first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first. Two good. away. The right the field. field. Oh, yeah. Tucker. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Kyle Tucker. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. <laughs> and 
And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Adam Duvall. Javier back to work. Duvall right. batting sixth in today's lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. Swings and misses. No balls, two strikes. Freddie oh, Ferguson doing the umpiring duties behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Freddie is a well-respected umpire, Boog. Maybe a little bit more of a pitcher's umpire. He does like to pitch down just below the knees or right about there, but most hitters are pretty good at covering that spot these days. Kicks and fires. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 0 2. That's down Whoa. and in. pitch and another oh. ball wouldn't That's chase that time we got a full count lifted in the air right center field sizes this one up He's got it, and there's one down. Here's Orlando Arcia. Inside corner at the knees, that's a strike. Good fastball. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Michael Harris in the box now. No balls and a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's in. Ball. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Two outs. And yeah, that's Ball outside. Out Two and one. Two down, nobody on. Started to go got? after it. Now we'll look down to third. No swing. Eric Summers go with the call. Here comes a pitch. This to third. Rolls across the diamond. Out number three. So they go quietly there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Braves two and the Astros nothing. And welcome back Lady to the Gaga ballpark. The and now the DH, Gainer the Diaz. Gainer Diaz. The pitch. There's a strike. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there. And he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Ripped to short. Gathers and throws to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting good. good. No left, left fielder. fielder. Here's the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. Back. 
First pitch misses. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next nope. offering ball. upstairs. Two balls, no strikes. That one nope. missing ball. inside. Hater deals. And it's ball That's four. Ball he missed Take down low. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have gotten me right it. there, Boog. Last That's one wasn't even close. Jeremy. So, man aboard. Pena. So, next up for Houston, Jeremy Pena. pitch and that's in for a strike well we call that keyhole even though it's right there and looks pretty good if he doesn't love it he's not going to swing that early in the count the kick in the pitch runner goes there's a ball for the second he's safe when your catcher's not a great goal you have to do a better job of controlling the running game and that's throwing over that stepping off doing whatever you can to try to keep that base dealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment or players are going to be running all game. Runner at second here, one gone. And right back to the mound. Sends it to Got first. It. And there are two down. The catcher, Victor, Victor. Gerasini. Vic Caratini at the plate. Let's go, Astros. That yeah. one finds the zone. It's 0-1. It's 0 and 1. Second two down. And That's ball, ball one. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And that Here one almost two. hit him. Runner at second, two down. Bottom half of inning number two. And That's another ball. ball. Jose Abreu waiting for a turn at the plate. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle Batting finding it. the zone for him the in the past. Now, even if they get out of this gym, oh, he wants to pressure and stress to the entire team. We'll say Abreu oh. up to hit. Wouldn't chase that time. One and oh. Two on, two outs. Ball. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. And that one is lifted in the air. Settles under it. And that's the inning. Two left for the Astros. And they're down 2 nothing. here in Houston out of the third inning and now the catcher comes up to him Chadwick Trump as he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers in there at the knees and that strike one
Next Still offering is outside. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Caratini makes the play, and there's one down. Now batting. The right fielder. Ronald Acuna Jr. So the batting order turns over. Ronald Acuna Jr. digs in now. The walk and a run scored his first time. Acuna in 2023 with about as impressive a power speed combination season as we have ever seen. Next yeah. pitch in for a strike, and it's one and one. The Braves always liked Acuna, but consider for a second, he was signed for $100,000 in 2014 out of Venezuela. So they liked him, but he wasn't some monster prospect. He ended up growing into one of the top young prospects in all of baseball. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there, that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Albies, ball. the next to hit, takes ball one. Two outs, bases empty. Strike on the inside corner. And he grounds one back up the middle. Over to Abreu. And Albies is retired. And that is the third out of the inning. Down in order go the Braves. As they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Back here in Houston. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Right-hander back to work. That catches the top part of the zone. And it's 0-1. And that's outside. And he deals. That one fouled off. On the ground to third. Riley fires the first. One up, one down. The second baby. Jose. Oh, Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to third his first time up. And that's oh, off that's the inside edge. And that's ball one. Altuve officially joined the 2000 hit club in 2023 with every career hit as a Houston Astro third player in club history with 2,000 hits and 200 home runs. Jeff Bagwell, Craig Biggio, those are the two others, and that's some great company, dude. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Wow. Squirts away a little bit and an excellent job keeping it right there. And a pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Altuve, the base runner at first with one out. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Two, two. Oh, right to the backstop. Altuve into scoring position on the wild pitch, and there goes the double play possibility. And it's second. 
And it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Three two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And a swing and a miss. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off with the fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly late with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. Tucker yeah. stands in now and watches strike one. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Line drive. That's a hit. Around third. Now a long throw home. And he's out. Up down and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. As we go to the top of the fourth, now in for the Braves, Austin Riley. And first offering is fouled off. And that's in for a strike. Oh, and two. On the ground to short. Over to Abreu. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. He's already homered here in this one. For Matt, a pretty impressive resume. A first-round pick back in 2012. The Braves extended him eight years, $168 million. Remember... They traded for him right at the end of the lockout in 2022, middle of March. So he didn't have a ton of time to get acclimated to his new team. And a pitch. On the ground. And that's just foul. One of the things from 2023, great counting stats for Matt Olson, but the hard hit rate was through the roof. Next one, one in the dirt. And another two and two. ball. One down, base is empty. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The pitch. Upstairs. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Down the line. And that's a foul ball. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Yeah. 
And he walked it. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. Right through there for a strike. Kicks and deals. Foul ball there. And he'll two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Up and in. Now one and two. And a pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. Man at first, one away. Good eye oh, right there. Down. It's a good take. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Adam Duvall at the play. Adam that misses one and oh one oh Olsen the runner at first with two gone line to left gets down base hit throw stops the lead runner at second two on and two out now bad Looked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Orlando Arcia, next up for the Braves. And a foul ball. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. First and second, two down. Top half of inning number four. Next pitch is downstairs. And that skips in the dirt. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. That clips the corner. Comes a 2 2. And another oh. ball. Michael Both Harris counts. next to bat for the Braves. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. And they're all Thank loaded you, up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, about and this is one of them right here. Here's the center fielder, Michael yeah. Harris. He's over one. Chopped in the ground. They take the force out, out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. And the Braves will strand three, but they hold the two nothing lead. Bottom of the inning. Leading now it's the DH. Yainer Diaz. Morton back to work. Out 
front with the swing, and that is strike one. Oh, one. On its way to the corner, and that oh. is a foul ball. Really nice swing as he gave that one a ride the opposite way, but it sliced just foul down into the corner. That had extra bases written all over it if it stayed fair. And the pitch. And a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to now hit right there. You have right to expand the zone. Yeah. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. He reached out a walk his first time. Just nope. missed. One and out. Runner at first with no outs here. Next That's pitch is outside. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Fall off foul. And here it comes. To short, could be two. Over to Alves. On to Olsen. That's two. Now So up next, Jeremy Pena. Rounded out his first time up. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. Righty to the plate. That one out to right. And Acuna able to make the grab. And that is that. Welcome back to the ballpark here on Jackie Robinson Day. We go to the top of the fifth, and now it's going to be Chadwick Trump. The why to kick the pitch. Looked like no, it was a little bit up. Singy here on Jackie Robinson Day. What comes to mind? Courage. I think about what Jackie Robinson had to endure to be a Major League Baseball player, what he had to deal with in society, no, oh. but also what he had to deal with in his own clubhouses. To be able to go out there and do that day in and day out, man, that just speaks courage to me. Swing and a miss as he was out Two front that time. Strike. That one at the knees for a strike. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Next That's offering misses. Three balls, two Both strikes. Out. And the righty deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The wind and the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply.
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Yeah, he's like Mike wow. Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Two that balls, no strikes the count. Misses. And now 3 0. Oh. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Hunter Brown getting ready to go. Blanco getting cranked up as well. The pitch. On the ground, the first. It's through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. It yeah. immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. First and second, no outs. And we're at the top of the fifth. Righty delivers. Twins and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string and the changeup. Here's Austin Riley. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Two on, one out. Good That's eye in that That's spot. The Here's the pitch. It's a double Ready? steal. Swing and a miss. He'll oh, throw out of third. And on second, two down. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. While he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Struck him out looking. Fastball to letters frozen for strike three. One hit, one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves two and the Astros nothing. Back here at Minute Maid Park. John Chalvey with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Victor Caratini. Wind of the pitch. Ball That's one, ball. no strikes. Caratini one in his ball, seventh no season, 30 years old now, and he was a second round pick. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And it is gone. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 2-1. Well, there goes the shutout. Just like that. They're still behind, but this is a start.
Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the back that gets everyone's attention. Got to pick the drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the bat's been thrown out of here. Jose Abreu up next for the Astros. Right through there for a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. The pitch. Out front and foul to the left side. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And that one missing low. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in. Last half of inning number five. And that's in the dirt. That one misses. And that's ball three. Mauricio Dubon in the on deck circle. The pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. The pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And that's too oh, high, God. ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. It's tough after falling yeah. behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Stands in here, takes ball one, one and up. Good to lay off that pitch down. Abreu aboard here at first with nobody out. Yeah. Yeah. Big swing and a miss. Oh, well, that's that slurp right one there. One and one. Threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Through that one for strike two. One and two is the count. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So the Houston lineup turns over. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. One for two. First pitch misses. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice oh. miss right there. Pitch misses two there, and, and the count is 2-0. 2 and oh. Two -oh count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. And a foul ball makes the count 2-1. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Here's a two-one. 
A little bit lower. On this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Booth. You're Don Alvarez. Waiting to hit for Houston. And he deals. And fouled off. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Payoff pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Here comes a pitch. Fly ball down the line. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. And they get out to Bay for the out. Two down. Now got it. Center fielder. Yoga. Alvarez. Now the number two hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. First pitch, and, this, and he just misses. Wow. And another ball. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge it. Next low, offering low. is down low. Kyle Tucker. Up next for the Astros. Let's see if he gives them anything to hit here. Slapped foul. These hitters like this that have so much power look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands or you're in a broadcast booth or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. The 3-1. In the air, right center. This is matched way back and gone. A massive home run. His fourth home run of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 3-2. That one just sounded different. Yeah, it might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. <laughs> they thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. Now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. That takes ball. low for ball one. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Ball to strike. Out to center. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Throws to second, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. change to start the sixth the new pitcher Hunter Brown and this is an important part of this game tight score and still a lot of outs to get so they're looking for a big outing out of them right here to get some critical outs Leading off and right. now Matt Olson up to hit and it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Yeah, yeah swing and miss. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low and fastball for some pitchers.
That this is the zone. And that is ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Brian Abreu up and throwing. And the right hater deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one two. Wouldn't chase that time. The next oh. offering misses. And that's ball that three. Cool. Marcelo Zuna waits on deck. Kicks and fires. Checks his swing. Get? Now would appeal to third. No swing. He held up just enough. That's ball four. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches. And somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Ozuna in the box now. Take strike one. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. No ball. She can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. One ball, two strikes. In the dirt. Throw is low and he can't pick it. That's a wild pitch, and the tying run moves into scoring position. You know, sometimes it takes a reliever a little time to get comfortable with the mound out there, especially when they come in trying to be nasty with every pitch they throw. Not exactly what they were looking for when they called him in, though. We'll see if he can settle down. And here it comes. That two misses. And, and the count is two and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Man at second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, wow, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter. Going away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Now the left fielder, Adam Duvall. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Right-handed reliever. One ball, one strike. And a count one and two. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And a pitch. Hard hit left side. Whips it across. Oh. That's it out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor now, like him, he is Ooh. looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Oh. Orlando Arcia now at the plate. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. And it stays fair. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Here comes the throw. The tag. That ends the inning, but they do score a run here. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and nobody left on. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. All tied up at three apiece. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Ronaldo Lopez. This is his third time out this year. And now the DH, Yaner Diaz. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. And a pitch. And that one pulled foul. Yeah. 
And he'll one. There's a strike. That's off the mark. Ball one. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times, if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Well, the bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. You know, up front there as he swings through it. Well, you got the no hitter already crack. chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right One now. Two. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Next one misses, and the count is even two, two and two. two. All tied up here in the bottom of the sixth. Just no, that missed. Means, that's the ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. We got a full count. One down, base is empty. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. Now you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. In the box with one away as he takes ball one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Next offering is in for a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. The shortstop takes the ball. Good eye right there. Victor Caratini waiting to hit for Houston. McCormick at first, one gone. And ball four to a goal. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much kept it in first base with a quick big pass. And next to hit for Houston, Victor Caratini. He's already homered in this game. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. First pitch ball. doesn't find the zone. Two walks in the Way inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Two on, one out. No, that's inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Drops into the glove. Now that the first base base. Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu up next for the Astros. In for a strike. One, one. And I know you want to be patient oh, as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of inning number seven. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Michael Harris. 
And the right hander back to work. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked. But that's a good approach paying off. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Chadwick Trump next up for the Braves. Corner infielders up on the grass expecting a bunt. Squares, pushes at it, misses it. It's a strike. It's 0-1. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Bunting, but that's a foul ball. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. 0-2 now. Yeah, that's downstairs and outside. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. With the go-ahead run at first, here are the top half of inning number seven. And oh. another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. At the belt and fires. And he walked it. Take your base. That one hurts right there as they couldn't take care of the bottom of the order to start this inning. You turn the lineup over. Now this inning's set up to be something big for this offense. The Astros turn to a new arm of the mound, Brian Abreu. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say, spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite-level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That one outside, outside. ball one. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Righty to the plate, and that's Ball, off inside. the inside edge. Three and oh. four-pitch walk. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Bases loaded, nobody out. And next for Atlanta, Ozzie Albies. That one misses, and that's ball one. It's a three-run game, 6-3. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. A lot of hitters tell themselves, the line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything, and pulled it into the gap nicely. Now in for the Braves, Austin Riley. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. That pitch gets the corner. That's strike one. one strike. He's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And that, that one is inside. Ball. Other thing in this park, I mean, he could sneeze one over the left field wall into those Crawford box seats.
and it's second. Swing and a miss struck him out. Here is Matt Olson. You have to be careful throwing him breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Oh, he doesn't get the call. 1-0. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Albies, the runner at second with one away. That one is absolutely belted. Going gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they add to the lead. It's 8-3. Already playing with the lead. And now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct. Ryan Presley taking over on the mound. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Next is the designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. Breaking right. ball in there for a strike. One down, base is empty. Close, but call the ball. And a count even, one and one. One and one. Righty delivers. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Still only one out here in the inning. The next ball. pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want. Warning track. Ball. And you can touch them all, baseball man. They go back to back. He's up to three home runs in the series. And they add a run. It's 9-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Back to back jacks. And this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean... This is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Adam Duvall, next up for the Braves. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. Righty deals. Popped up. Settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Now it's the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. And first offering is fouled off. Ball one nope. there. Ball. and two. It might be time what to choke up count? a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And delivers oh. outside. Oh. 
and a pitch. Just no, misses the mark ball. outside the zone. Michael Harris on ball. deck for Atlanta. Out towards right center field on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 9-3 ball game. You're dialed into the show. And we're back. Leading Set for the up. last half of the seventh. Now the third, the third baseman, baseman, Mauricio Dubon. Dubon. Lopez back to work. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. On the ground to first. Sneaks through. Base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Just a simple ground ball the other way. Now, that had that eyes on it, man. Hit. Sometimes that's all you oh, need oh, to yeah. do. Just let the ball travel. Oh, put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Well, when the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. The 1-0. -oh. They had a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. Dubon gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Knowing that the pitcher One, two, wants a count. ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. That's out to center field. Harris has a beat on it. He makes the grab, then there's one down. Now got it, center fielder, Yordahl. Alvarez. And at first, you're Don Alvarez. Up next for the Astros. And a curb misses outside. outside. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Drops in for a strike. The Braves up big in this one. Here at the bottom of the seventh. And That's another ball. ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Acuna going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now back, right fielder, Kyle. So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. That's no, inside. That's next that's offering upstairs. Two up. pitch yeah, he's been able to go inside no as well as outside effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat they stack center field Harris fires it in quickly and they hold him at second maybe this is going to be the moment they start to come back you've got fastball even though it's high velocity you've got to live on the outer edges when it's right on the tee right down the middle professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around foul ball
Pitch that misses is there. The and that's ball one. Lifted in the air, right center field. Acuna after it. Brings it in. And that's the third out. This one pretty well decided at this point. Eighth inning coming up. Braves nine. Yeah, the Astros three. Back here in Houston, ready to begin the eighth at the play. Michael Harris. The pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. McCormick going back. That one hops against the fence. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Here's the catcher, Chadwick Trump. And the That's slider the just misses. The pitch. And it's one and one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, one and one. That slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your yeah. cap on that pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. two. Great velocity at 97 at the top of the zone. Harris stands at second with no outs. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective now pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Acuna the in the box here Outside. lets that one go for a ball. In for a strike, and it's one and one. Swings through that one out in front that time. One ball, two strikes. change up right there. Just pulled the string. Man, it's second. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the pitch. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. The bat. The, bat. the second base. Ozzy Albies. So digging in, Ozzy Albies. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Pitch misses. And one and one. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Next ball. offering is downstairs. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls. So that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. Rudder at second. Two down. And there's a ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Now, now, now. Third, third base. base. 
So oh, now to the plate for Atlanta. Riley. Austin Riley. 0 for 4, two strikeouts and two ground outs. And it's fouled away. First and second, two down. Wouldn't chase oh. that time. One, two. Here comes a pitch. Three. Swings and misses, struck him out. Two left for Atlanta, but they lead it 9-3. for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. The right-hander back to work. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Now one and one. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. The 1-1. One, one. Ah! Stays alive. pitch fights that one away still one and two and the right hander deals Lopez gets the swing and the miss one gone to the bottom of the eighth Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one just tough to catch up to. I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. High fly ball, right field. And Acuna able to make the grab. That's out number two. The bat, the catcher. Victor. And now the switch hitting catcher, Victor Caratini. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Next pitch is downstairs. Two down, nobody on. Ground off the middle, that's a base hit. The bat, the first base hit. Jose Abreu, up Abreu. next for the Astros. A strikeout and a walk. Top of the zone for a called strike. pitch that one, one missed. Two. pretty standard high o2 fastball right there if you're smart you look for something down in the zone but not too far don't want to chase that breaking oh. ball in the dirt and another ball two two bounce to the left side and that in the inning 
So the Astros leave one still way back. It's nine three. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Ronel Blanco. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Here's Matt Olson, and the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. The wide to kick the pitch. Strike one. Oh, and one. Oh, one now. On the ground, right side, Altuve on the first, and Olsen is set down. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time, got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. And now here is Marcelo Zuna. And first offering is fouled off. Ground ball to Brayu. Two up, two oh. down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Adam Duvall. Now the left fielder, Adam Duvall. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Right through there for a strike. It's no one one. The Braves up big in this one here at the top of the ninth. Next no, offering low. is oh. down low. Got him swinging. Offense held in check there. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. Braves 9 and the Astros 3. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Rysel Iglesias. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Now at the plate, Leading Mauricio Dubon. Sing, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. On the ground to the left, and that chance handled. They go 5-3 for the first out as the third baseman makes the play from the shortstop spot in the shift. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Back to the top of the lineup, and here is Jose Altuve. In the air, out towards right center. Acuna after it. And there's two away. Every day during batting practice, yeah, yeah, yeah. these outfielders no, no, get no, no, about no. 10 minutes of You're balls no. in the gaps. They oh, practice right. this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Astros down to their last out. Stepping in, your Don Alvarez. And the pitch oh. is outside, ball one. Up and oh. in, now 2-0. Oh. The Astros with a lot of ground to make up. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Uh -huh. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. They got away with one, one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. That one oh. misses, and now three balls three and, one. and a strike. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. Two outs. And now it's filled up. Ball count. 
One strike away. Two down, nobody on. Ground ball, and this should do it. And no throw for some reason as he reaches first. That's got to be an error. Wise to just beat that. Otherwise, you risk throwing it into the dugout. And stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. That missed. That's the ball. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire did give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Here's a 1 1. There's a strike. And the next pitch is way outside. Alvarez off the of first with two away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. That was a pretty close one until that huge seventh inning really turned things around. The bats just caught on fire, and it seemed like nobody could make it out. Put a lot of runs up, and that propelled them to the win. 9-3, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Atlanta Braves, nine runs on nine hits. One error, they left seven runners on base. For the Astros, three runs on nine hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base.